The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at hernias in the groin area. Now, first thing you have to realize about hernias is what they are and that there are many different types of hernias. You can get hernias in your brain, uh, disc hernias, uh, stomach hernias, and there's a bunch of other hernias. In this case, we're just talking about hernias in the groin area. So what is a hernia? Well, uh, a simple analogy is um, in your house, if you have your windows closed and you suddenly smash your head out through a window, that would be a hernia. Your head was not meant to be sticking out through the window pane. Similarly in the body, most of our organs, actually I'll say all of our organs, settle into certain different sacs or segments or compartments and there's, they're meant to stay within those compartments. If an organ protrudes from its compartment, into its neighbor, out of its neighborhood, that is a hernia. Now, uh, scurrying the internet, this is the best picture I was able to come across of uh, a groin hernia. So this was lifted from the hernia center of Southern California. You can check it out online at herniaonline.com. I have no affiliation with them. I'm not trying to sell the product. They just produce the best um, diagram that I could find on the internet of uh, groin hernia. So. This is an example of uh, what I would see in my office. Um, somebody will come in complaining uh, that they notice a bulge in their groin. Sometimes it hurts, often it does not. The other thing that's, that's often um, interesting is that they'll tell you that in the morning when they wake up it's gone and later on in the day it pops out and they notice this thing sticking out and it causes this dragging feeling down there in their groin, kind of miserable. The other thing I usually find interesting is um, it's usually people who are actually um, fairly physically active. Guys that cut trees, uh, carpenters, um, more than often uh, the people that I see it in are fit, not usually sedentary type people. And possibly you could see why in this second part of the illustration here where you actually see internally with Superman vision where you peel away the layers, what's actually happening to cause this hernia. So, uh, normally there's a there's a what we call an inguinal canal here it's, it's a bit complicated to explain but in part of the in part of your development for your um, testes in males um, the testes have to actually start out in your stomach and travel down through this canal um, whoops what just happened there travel down through this um, canal um, to reach into the, the scrotum, into the scrotal sac. And then the, the tunnel that they use to get from the abdomen in there closes off with a layer of muscle. So there's a bunch of muscles covering over this layer. And normally, um, the layer becomes a potential space, but it's pretty much closed off. Um, under duress, like under um, heavy lifting, pushing, tense movements where you're holding your breath and pushing the abdominal contents um, at maximal force, sometimes some of the abdominal contents that should be staying inside the abdomen here will push their way through the muscle here, shearing those uh, layers apart. And just like you can see here, pushing apart these uh, layers here, splicing them open, and p then migrate its way all the way down into the uh, inguinal canal. The problem with this is that sometimes that bowel that reaches in uh, gets trapped, we call it incarcerated and um, can't make its way back in, into the abdomen. When that happens, it's actually a surgical emergency because the, the bowel gets strangulated. It gets so tight in there that um, it can't get any blood flow and it dies. If this were to happen to you, it is very obvious that you need to go to the ER. It's excruciating pain. In general though, for the other 99% of um, cases of, of these hernias, um, long before they've incarcerated where they're, they're still free to glide in and out almost like a pedestrian in and out as they please um, that is the reason why um, when these individuals lie down at night they'll notice that the the hernia pops back in it basically migrates its way back out of the tunnel oh shoot that moved again migrates its way out of the tunnel back into the abdomen which is its home so that being said uh, that's what causes the hernia uh, high pressure and um, 
abdominal contents pushing through into where they're not supposed to be. Now, this um, the only cure for it. Uh, some people will try um, basically trusses or girders, girdles or whatever you call them. Is basically things that are tight that you wrap on and try to keep the hernia in. Uh, they're a waste of time in general. The the only utility to them might be if you were waiting for corrective surgery and you had to keep working. You didn't want the thing to keep bulging out on you. Now. Um, in the old days, uh, how that was treated is the muscle layers, you would push the abdomen, the um, intestinal contents back into the abdominal cavity where they belong, and then they would just tighten up the, that inguinal ring of muscle. Nowadays, what they find much more effective to do is to actually apply a mesh inside that inguinal canal. Um, and often the surgery can be done laparoscopically, which just means tiny little keyholes, and then they they put the contents back in the abdomen, insert the mesh, and then uh, anchor it into the surrounding muscle tissue. The advantage of that is it's not under pressure or tension afterwards. In the old method, when you pull the muscles together and ga gather them up, like a seamstress, they were always under tension, which would tend to cause a lot of pain and also increase the likelihood of uh, failure later with the area popping back open. This new method um, very rarely fails. Um, it's not foolproof, however, because you have to remember that the people that this happens in in the first place, um, it happened for a reason. It's because they're very physically active and they're always increasing their intestinal uh, um, abdominal uh, pressures, which is what caused the the uh, intestine to migrate out in the first place. So they're always at risk for that happening again. But in general, these uh, mesh patches um, work fabulously. There's very low rate of um, of recurrence. So. Um, Oh, the other thing that you might wonder about, just in a nutshell, with the surgery is um, with the keyhole surgery, you're basically up and about within this within a day. Um, the older version, where you actually would have to make a big incision along here and, and do your work from the outside in, uh, that method you you'd be sore for several weeks afterwards. But with the new keyhole surgery, it's um, pretty fast back to work and activity. And uh, basically, with this mesh in position, the area is actually stronger than it than it began. So um, there's no mystery about it. That is um, hernias in the groin in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with uh, new videos as I upload them. And uh, share this with anybody who's suffering with um, hernia right now, wondering what's going on with themselves. And uh, have a terrific rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.